Is it time to buy or sell Microsoft stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Microsoft. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, May 17, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Boost your experience by joining our YouTube membership. Choose the supporter tier to show your appreciation with a loyalty badge or the trader tier to request video analysis of the company of your choice. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since April 26, 2023, our system has ranked Microsoft as a strong buy candidate, giving it a score of 5.88. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock has seen a gain of 6.31%. This translates to an average return of 0.39% per day since it was listed as strong by candidate. The stock lies in the middle of a wide and strong rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 26.26% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 17.95% and 29.86%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 6.96% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 23.37% and 5.17%. This translates to a price range of $240.61 to $330.25 after a year. Our latest daily update for Microsoft includes the headline, Stronger Technical Forecast for Microsoft Stock Price After Wednesday Trading. The Microsoft stock price gained 0.725% on the last trading day, Wednesday, May 17, 2023, rising from $311.74 to $314. It has now gained three days in a row. It will be exciting to see whether it manages to continue gaining or take a minor break for the next few days. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 1.19% from a day low at $310.74 to a day high of $314.43. The price has risen in 6 of the last 10 days and is up by 3.15% over the past 2 weeks. Volume fell on the last day by minus 3 million shares and in total, 23 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $7.07 .07 billion. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $314.43, and the lowest price was $213.43. Currently, the price is 0.14%, or $0.430, below the 52-week high, and 10.2%, or $35.67, below the all-time high on November 22, 2021, when the price reached $349.67. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Wednesday, February 8, 2023, DA Davidson set a price target of 325. On Wednesday, February 8, 2023, Piper Sandler set a price target of 290. On Wednesday, February 8, 2023, Piper Sandler set a price target of 290. On Wednesday, February 8, 2023, DA Davidson set a price target of 325. On Tuesday, January 10, 2023, Barclays set a price target of 280. Analysts have given Microsoft stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Microsoft. Mostly positive signals in the chart today. The Microsoft stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $310.51 and $295.73.
A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Tuesday, April 25, 2023, and so far it has risen 14.01%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The stock should be watched closely. The stock had a golden star signal on Monday, March 13, 2023 in the short-term chart. Golden star signal is when the short-term moving average, the long-term moving average, and price line meet in a special combination. This combination is very rare and often followed by long and strong gains for the stock in question. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, by signal 17 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 12 days ago. Short-term moving average, by signal 3 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 18 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 45 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, by signal 17 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 80 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 77 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Microsoft On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $295.37 and $279.43. There is a natural risk involved when a stock is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the stock then may fall to the next support level. In this case, Microsoft finds support just below today's level at $295.37. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $279.43 and $276.20. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $3.69 between high and low, or 1.19%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 1.2%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Microsoft, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. This is a relatively normal P-E ratio, often seen in businesses with long track records or predictable revenues. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2023 is expected on July 24, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $2.56. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Microsoft. There's no significant resistance from accumulated volume above, which means the stock could move upward swiftly under the right conditions. In this case, you might want to enter a position and use volume to determine when to exit. On the downside, Microsoft encounters its first support level at $295.37. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Microsoft from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On May 9, 2023, Capicella Christopher C. conducted an insider sell of 5,000 shares of common stock. On May 10, 2023, Capicella Christopher C. conducted an insider sell of 4,177 shares of common stock. On May 5, 2023, Capicella Christopher C. conducted an insider sell of 5,000 shares of common stock. On May 1, 2023, Althoff Judson conducted an insider sell of 30,000 shares of common stock. On April 17, 2023, Hoya Alice L. conducted an insider sell of 177,469 shares of common stock. 
Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 22.689. Overall, insiders purchased 140,276 shares and sold 194,302 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $301.25, minus 4.06%. This stock has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found 16 days ago. Is Microsoft stock a good buy? Microsoft holds several positive signals and is within a strong rising trend. As the old saying says, let the trend be your friend. We therefore consider it to be a good choice at these current levels and we are expecting further gains during the next three months. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a buy to a strong buy candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Thursday, May 18th, we expect Microsoft to open down minus 94 cents and start trading at $313.06. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.